This video is created for Calvin University's Geo Department in setting up, turning on, and getting ready to fire the Sokia IM100 series total station used for surveying points, both topographically and for road surveys. This was recorded and edited by Isaiah Hageman, a junior, October 2021. Turning it on. It's as simple as holding the power button and waiting for it to boot up. When it boots up, you will see the screen that's asking you to level it. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and level it, and then I will come back on. All right, so now it's been leveled, so we're on the main screen. So first the thing you wanna do is select your job. So we're gonna go into data. We're gonna go up to job, press enter, press job selection, press the list button to bring up the list of jobs. Select the next empty job and press enter. Go down to coordinate search, press list, next job, press enter. That'll set that. Go back out. All right, so from here we want to set our initial points. We're going to go back out to the main screen, press OBS, and then press MLM, press Enter. This sets your coordinates to north, so you want to make sure it's zero, all zeros. Your height, so whatever height you have the total station at, you want to measure an input in feet and inches. From there, press Enter, press Enter, Input the date, the correct time, the wind, or the weather, you can scroll through here. Same thing with the wind, you can scroll through. Temperature, pressure, press enter, press enter. Now you're in there. Now before you leave this screen, you wanna make sure that you hit BS and EZ. That'll set your back sight, hit OK and hit measure when you're aimed at a prism straight north. That'll fire the laser. We'll press record and OK. Now, back out, go to topo, hit distance and chords, and you are ready to fire. So when you've lined up your prism, hit that measure button. So from here you can see I've set a prism up on the table. I'm gonna line that up. First, you want to use the gun sight that is right here. Use that to focus in on the prism. Then use the eyepiece because that'll get you in a lot closer. You can rotate this to focus it. So sight that in on the prism. There are crosshairs inside, so make sure those crosshairs are lined up on the prism. When you are ready to fire the laser, make sure that your point number, since you're using a new job, is set to zero and one because that will give you your first point. When that is all set, press measure. Do not forget to press record. If you forget to press record, that button, if you forget to press that button, you will not have a point recorded in the job. And I've gotten a lot of, a lot of mistakes not recording it. So then you are ready to set your next one. If you hit auto, that will fire and record the point for you or you can press measure and then hit record when it's ready. That is how to fire it. Shutting it off is very easy. You just press and hold the power button until it says power off processing. There is no reason to need to save anything. It automatically saves for you. So when you're done firing it and you're done with your job, you just shut it off.